And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Endure Spiders playing the new version that is very, very popular. That's where our last two decks of the day are going to be. We're going to be playing probably the two most popular decks, the Endure Spiders here and the Tempo Sejuani. Because uh, with their in their current iteration, I don't think I've really played either one yet. So we're going to play both of them here. For those of y'all that, that uh, have been playing these, having good success with them, that kind of stuff. Want to see some gameplay with the uh, good popular tier one decks. That's what we got. It looks like with this deck list, the everybody plays like 37 of the same 40 cards for the most part. And the real thing that people are playing differently is like some people play three hapless aristocrat. Some people play three bark beast. Some people switch it up to be um, some combination of the two. I really like bark beast quite a bit and uh but i you know i understand hapless aristocrat's strength as well so i'm gonna go with the two bark beast one hapless aristocrat because i like both of them i don't really want to go three and zero of either um, but i like bark beast more so i'm gonna go with the two of bark beast um and then besides that kind of have everything else the same as everybody else so let's go ahead and play some endure spiders should be pretty strong and we'll see how it goes get to play some omen hawk Yeah, basically every every combination of champions, especially the original champions that weren't in the, the Bilge Water set, every combination of the two of them have been built before. There, there's, yeah, you uh, played like every combination of everything. Um, but yeah, like we played we played Ash Lux like a week ago, right? As far as that one goes, call it uh, light and ice. I'm just gonna mulligan these three. That looks better. But yeah, I think I think Ash and Lux is a really good, powerful combination right now. I've just been having super, uh, you know, super amount of success with like every single Lux deck. I, must get out of here. I do like the uh, frostbite that Ash brings, and of course. Harsh wins with both of them. See the Nebastian border from here. For the homestead. I think this is worth it. Please, I have connections. Shows how good Bark Beast is, though. You know, like they're prioritizing Mystic Shot on it. Uh, good card. This is going to be kind of tough. Ooh, I do like 5-4 Callista a whole lot more. But basically, I, I felt like if I would have gone with Callista that turn, they'd be able to kill the Callista fairly easily. Was the worst case scenario. Well, that was a yeah, that was definitely a great card to have. Yeah. Well, not looking so great, but we still have they who endure and atrocity in our deck. Stop drawing Vile Feast. 
worst card to draw. Literal worst card to draw. I'll play this Callista first. I think I think that either Callista that I'd play, they would be able to kill. So I'll have I'll let them kill this Callista first. Cool. I've already played two thermogenic beams. Oh, come on. They have the third. Had lots of things die, so they who endure will be really big if we draw it. They're out there. I'll spawn. <laughs> that omen hawk from like four turns ago. thinking about doing like the double vile feast to my own thing first and then seeing how they respond and like maybe they respond to something then I get to glimpse beyond let's think about doing that Glimpse Beyond was more valuable than, you know, drawing two cards more valuable than two spiders, of course. Well, looks like we lose. No, they who endures. Too many crappy vile fees. Where are you? Yeah, I went through 16 cards, went through 40% of our deck, did not find a they went there. Unfortunate against the deck that killed all of our stuff. Mm. We can try. Not dead yet. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, we definitely have glimpse beyonds. Nope. There's 
Yeah, Glimpse Beyond is one of the stronger cards in this kind of strategy. That's certainly a three of. What a tangled web. Okay, own one. Only play that I think I could have made different that would have been that turn that I did cast Glimpse Beyond. Maybe I could have double Vile Feast in my own thing first, and maybe they would have responded with another Grass of the Undying. They just probably wouldn't respond with another Grass of the Undying. What do I think about this Aristocrat? Alright, there's Behunder. Drew it this time. What's that noise? Oh, they're out there. I'll spot them. Safeguard our home. Another Omen Hawk. That is awesome. Omen Hawks and Avaros and Sentries. I will take those cards all day. All day, I tell you. Welcome to the Tipsy House. So am I actually going to be using Blighted Caretaker? This is getting bigger. Oh, looks like they have another Withering Wheel. No, I don't we didn't have room for Relic into Caretaker. We didn't have room for that. Uh, very fast pass. They want me to play more things into their Withering Wheel. Which I will oblige. Nothing escapes my wife. Okay. Hmm. So if it's Ruination, we still draw three. Which isn't so bad. If it is Withering Whale, the Callista levels up. Alright, Void Rose, you were needing to change the pet. What would you like me to change the pet to? Uh, Tommy, I was thinking about building a Shen Draven deck. Do you think it will actually work? The deck. Yeah, buffing Draven, protecting him with barriers. 
It can. Um, there's not, there's just not that many barriers in Ionia. So you're not going to be able to protect, uh, Draven too easily. Because there's just, there's not a lot of options. Um, we played a Katarina Shen deck. Which was really sweet. Which is, which I'm, which I think that if you're going to build a Draven Shen, it should be, uh, real similar. So maybe check that out. I cannot be sated. I guess this is still a 4-4. Four, four. Hurts that Soul Gorger. Puts it down to a 3-3. Three, three. Do, I, do I let them gain 3 gain three life to put 4 damage on their Soul Gorger? Doesn't sound like the worst trade. Does make a ru potential ruination for them a little worse. Calista will level up. Make these things even bigger. That's pretty powerful. Got 16 16s now. They're just getting bigger. Just getting bigger. Hmm. Okay, Twenty is the maximum amount of health, so I don't need to like worry about trying to sacrifice and keep them from gaining life and stuff like that. Got some 17-17s. Just two mana, hopefully not Vile Feast. Okay, good. We're only one card less than them in hand. It's like, 
you know, this thing blocking the 4 1 is like their best block, so I want to attack with this first. I don't want to like deal damage and then Soul Gorger gets a good block. All right, Neverglade Collector finishes out. We, we have no mercy. It is no mercy. I feel bad for the Anivia deck. I don't know what's still going on there. Uh. Let's see, Void Rose did the change to the pet thing. Void Rose, did you want me to change the pet? Oh, it says, does it matter? Okay, was that an accident? Accidentally did the change, change the pet thing, it looks like. All right, we'll continue on. Vladimir Hikaro. Uh, yeah, I like this. The Haunted Relic would have gave me good things to use. It would give me a good target for the Caretaker. But if you think about like going Haunted Relic takes three spots, and then you go Caretaker, which takes another three spots, or really takes two spots. It's a lot of spots to take up. Wakanda! Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub, Wakanda. You are our first sub of the day. Wakanda is forever our first sub on this day. We, we shall not rest until all betrayers Sub hype. Awesome. Delicious. So the only reason to attack would be that you have transfusion. So we now know that our opponent has transfusion and can play accordingly. However, how to play accordingly, not as easy. Not as easy. That was one, two, three. Aw, oh, look at the pupper. Getting some ice cream. I love a man with style. Heard it all before. Oh, I saw it. Good old pupper getting some ice cream. Come, come this way. Okay, so this could be a 4-3 with transfusion, so it would be able to take out Callista. Let's see what you can do. All right, and there's the the transfusion we knew about. Pretty 
they told us they had last turn. I'm glad they're using... Like, Transfusion's a really good, valuable spell. I'm glad they're using it to kill a 2-1. That 2-1 is not a very valuable card. And if they go oh, Glimpse Beyond on the 2 1, well, let's go Vile Feast. So let's see if they have like another transfusion, then, it, then we Glimpse Beyond. <clears throat> Odd timing. Remember the objectives. Hey, Cabo. And Mod, what's up, Mod? Coming in after the nap. Alright, so Cabo's been here for a little bit. That is a blighted caretaker. Yuck. I guess that's the best I got. I could turn Fury of the North into a draw two. Uh, I guess if I didn't glimpse, I could have double Fury. Wouldn't have been lethal. I think I'd rather draw two cards than have double Fury of the North, right? I think I'd rather have two random, you know, two cards instead of that Fear of the Northern Hand. Let me show you what I can do. Yeah, Deep Sea Monsters did a lot of work. Our, we we're 4 0, so close to another 5 0, but didn't quite get there. Hecarim does so much damage. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm one, one damage short of killing them. If I just went Fury on this thing and then Atrocity it. Could go Fury on my 1-1 one, one and Atrocity it and kill Hecarim. Hecarim's still really good. Down to 6. Yeah, if I, if I would have attacked with, or if I would have, um, if I would have attacked with the spider last turn, I could have maybe had lethal, potentially, um. Yeah. 
I just don't want to, I don't really want to attack with Callista's, or I don't want to really use this Callista's Black Spears or not attack. I don't really want to use this because if they do kill my Callista, I want to be able to have a new Callista. But I don't know, maybe I should just atrocity this thing. Try to put them down to one and then try to, and then I'd have to untap and then play a new Callista next turn while they're at one. It would kind of require, uh... Kind of require them not having removal right here. If they had removal right here, that'd be a nightmare. Yeah, we get Ravenous Butcher. I don't want to give them the opportunity to play a fearsome blocker before we get to hit them for damage. Just don't know what this last card is. Please don't be removal. Yay! The thing is, like, if that card was removal, they probably I kind of figured that if that card was removal, they'd probably play it before they just took five, right? Like, th like if it was something they could still play, if it was fast speed removal, like why wouldn't they just play that during combat? I guess during combat. Oh, I guess there's the three. The reason why they wouldn't is because the three two is taking damage for the heck for the Callista. I guess that's the reason why they wouldn't do it during during uh, combat. Yeah, I should have... I should have gone for... A, yeah, I should have atrocity tech room. That would have been better. <laughs> no, yeah. That's, I don't know. I... The last couple, couple of turns is pretty tough. Wasn't it safer to glimpse beyond and then play new Callista and Atrocity new Callista? Play around a three damage spell. We didn't have the mana to do all of that. I had... Oh, if I didn't play Elise, I guess. Yeah, if I, if I don't play Elise, I could do all of that. Yeah, maybe that was just the safer line. Just instead of Elise, go glimpse. All right, I'll keep Glimpse against the Fiora deck, but I definitely like having Curse Keeper into Caretaker. And really nice that we're attacking on turn three. Love that, that we're the one that's attacking on turn three so that we get to um, play Caretaker on curve and attack with the Saplings. Push back the darkness. Are we about to do lots of damage? Lots of damage. There you are. Hmm. Nice. There you go, Matthew. Got a big freezer. Good. So much damage. We don't get to play Neverglade Collector yet. We're probably going to be... Ooh, now Vile Feast changes things. I was going to say we're probably just going to play Sentry, hold, uh, save the two, bank the two mana for next turn. 
and then play it with Neverglade Collector. So they, they just said pass. Are they trying to get me to play something and then they play Fiora? No, they just want, want to pass. Is this going to be, like, I don't want to do Valfi's pre-combat because of Radiant Guardian, right? Like, it doesn't make sense to do anything pre-combat with that card. Yeah, this is looking like a 3-1. Uh, looks like they're going to try to probably go Lifesteal Barrier, maybe? Maybe they're going to try to go Lifesteal here? Kind of have to. They're dying. I'll have the 2-1 block here and not block in front of the 3-3. Three, three. But if they go Lifesteal, we glimpse beyond. Stand and fight. There you go. So now they say they go down to 1. Which we would still have lethal with Glimpse Beyond or Haunted Relic. Alright, no Lifesteal Barrier. So we don't need to Glimpse Beyond. Hmm. We're gonna just end round. Basically, I don't want a Haunted Relic, and then they go single combat and kill my Neverglade Collector. Show them what we're made of. So while I only had one spell to cast to kill them, I decided to... Just wait. Now oh, this turn we got two. <laughs> GG's, three and one. I don't know, it just doesn't matter who I kill. We're, the game's gonna be over. Kill the 3-1 because it was cooler. Omenhawk into Elise, the dream. And then definitely getting rid of Atrocity. And I think we keep Glimpse Beyond against Ezreal deck. So we'll keep that. It's not... It's not 3-4 Elise on turn 2, which is the real dream. Yeah, that was that that set up perfectly for us. Attacking on turn three with having Curse Keeper on two, Caretaker on three. That is just uh, I. I pull the strings. Beam me up. And now there's there's no three mana thing doing four damage. Omen Hawk is busted. I thought you'd never ask. The reason the two best decks are or two must play decks are splashing Freljord for Omen Hawk. It's not bragging if you can back it up. So the more aggressive line would be playing just both Elise and uh, Sentry and not drawing the two. Right. There's 
nothing to fear. See the Devastian border from here. Annie Desu with the raid. Thank you so much there, Annie Desu. So, um, we got a question. On on the YouTube comments, somebody mentioned that they were wondering whenever Annie was going to join in uh, in Runeterra. Because I guess Annie is one of the most popular League of Legends uh, characters. Um, is and so I was gonna ask, is that where is that where your name came from with the Annie Desu? Firing <laughs> Really? It was? Awesome. What does the Desu mean? You're a Challenger League of Legends player that mained the character Annie. Okay. Is Desu like Annie's last name? You won't suffer long. Between me and glory. I wonder if I should have just played. No, I shouldn't have played Bark Beast first. All right, that gets stunned. That get Mystic Shot. That gets get excited. That's three. All right, so we're going to fury this thing. Sack this thing. And they get two targets, not three. They're down to two. Desu means to be in Japanese. <laughs> I was a weave at the time. So it's like, I am Annie. Okay. Well, cool. Good, good to know. Good origin story. These old eyes still see far and clear. So that probably means Static Shock, would kind of be my guess. Kind of feel like that means Static Shock, and so I'm going to make it so Static Shock doesn't kill stuff. Play a 10 10 one of these. Hmm. So now just Will of Ionia or another stun card.
All right, yeah. Have have a good have a good day. See you, Annie. I don't expect this to actually kill Ezreal, but it does force them to play something else before Ezreal levels up and before they draw. And now maybe... No, okay, it does. If they did play something else to level up Ezreal, they would have had to target something else. Which means, you know, we would have had the... Um... Would have the room for caretaker. We still got the room for caretaker. Cause expecting that they need like four mana to deal with the ten ten, right? Like they so Yeah, I can't really have like the mana to deal with everything else also. I was thinking that like we cast the Vile Feast after that, then they You know, they use like stun card on my ten ten. So that would have been the, the worst case scenario. Oh, why did I do three ring two? <laughs> we definitely just went four and one. Did we go four and one with Draven Lee Sin also? No, we no no we didn't. I should have won the first game with that deck. Uh, learned some stuff with that first one. Uh, but yeah, so this deck's still really good. Uh, I guess that's kind of the the conclusion. But hopefully that kind of helped uh, give some some gameplay. Um, to everybody else, I... Okay, I only had the two Haunted Relics. Okay, we did draw those two cards quite a bit. Caretaker looked awesome. Um, Averroes and Sentry and Omenhawk were amazing. Like, these two cards were incredible, uh, helping us just outgrind people. Like, the Omenhawk just making our things a little too big. Averroes and Sentry getting this the card advantage. Those two cards were incredible. And then, obviously, They Who Endure is awesome our only loss we went through 40 percent of our deck and just didn't have a they who endure to, to kill them against a removal heavy deck just couldn't couldn't go over the top because uh, we never drew one uh yeah but that's it so that's endure spiders awesome deck here i i think i liked the the two bark piece one hapless aristocrat there's just not that often that you want hapless aristocrat i i think i like i liked that split i don't want more hapless aristocrats i would rather have three and zero than the other way around so um i think it's either i think it's either go two bark piece one aristocrat or three bark piece zero aristocrat i think that's the way to go i don't think you need more than one aristocrat um uh some people Play three Neverglade Collector, one Fury. I don't really like that. I like the two and two with those. Neverglades, Never, Neverglade has a spot, and it and it can be it can be pretty strong, but it's it's not every game, and there's not uh, it's not always going to be strong. I think it's a good two of. All right, so that's Endure Spiders. Anyway, those on y'all on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Let me know what you think of the list and all that kind of stuff, like those different numbers. Um, but yeah, hope, hope y'all learned stuff. Hit that like, leave those comments and I'll appreciate it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching some Endure Spiders and I'll see you for the next video.